Joining us now to talk more about this is attorney and legal analyst Anahita Setagathvar. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. Thank you. All right, so Alexander is speaking out after going with Nicole Eggert to file a police report with the LAPD. As Scott Bayo said, if you know if you're going to talk about this, take it to the police. So they both did go to the police. Right. What happens with this? So the police are saying that they're investigating these allegations. I can tell you that it's great that he spoke out because, and I don't think it's looking good for Scott Bayo. We can talk about that later. But this man speaking out and telling his truth kind of sheds light that abuse of power is not just sexual abuse, sexual harassment. Abuse of power can also be someone humiliating you, attacking you, bullying you at work. And so we have to kind of look at it from that perspective. And I've had many cases where people were treated this way in a less than sexual way, but it doesn't make it any less egregious. So I'm really glad that he spoke out and told his truth. And we can talk about this now. What do you think of Scott Bayo's strategy and his response to these very serious allegations, right? About his accusers, he says, your story is changing, Nicole, and one of your friends can't corroborate it. And Alexander Polinsky, so Bayo's uh, attorney, uh, sorry, he also said about their attorney, Lisa Bloom, you defended Harvey Weinstein. He's basically poked holes in, or trying to poke holes in their story and their character. That's the defense attorney's job. Obviously, they're going to sit here and try to say, look, these accusers are not telling the truth. Ultimately, that's going to be for a jury to decide, but I can tell you, it doesn't necessarily help to attack a victim, especially now that we're sort of in this Me Too era and people are finally talking about these things and taking it seriously. Not a good idea. I don't think that's going to bode well but, in front of a jury. But wait a second, though, too, because uh, Scott Bayo's attorney also produced a photo from Scott Bayo's birthday party apparently seven years ago where Alexander Polinsky and Bayo are arm in arm, chummy, they're buds, so they're trying to say, wait a minute, something's not jiving here. Right, so they want to use that photo to say, look, there's no way he could have been tormented and harassed because they're buddy-buddy in this picture. Mm -hmm. Not true. I mean, if this ever gets to court, the plaintiffs, meaning this, this gentleman, will produce an expert who will talk about the fact that victims of abuse, not just sexual abuse, but all kinds of abuse, sometimes don't confront it. They don't go public with it. They deny it. They may be in denial themselves. So to use that photo as sort of evidence that there's no way Scott Bayo could have done this, not compelling. There will be medical experts that will opine that this is actually expected behavior of someone who is abused. Sometimes you relate to your abuser. Sometimes you have shame and you don't want to talk about the abuse. So not compelling. And I think, again, blaming the victim is not going to be a good strategy in this case. All right. So we're looking at a video right now of Scott Bayer who went on Facebook saying this didn't happen, Nicole. Right. Uh, he has his attorneys now to stand up to Alexander Polinsky. Um, the, the Alexander and Nicole both saying they want an apology. Would Scott Bayo ever give an apology if you're, if you're advising him? It doesn't look like he's going to give an apology. I think they're going to have to wait and see if charges are going to be filed in this case. Any apology would sort of be like an admission. And he doesn't want to do that because he's facing criminal prosecution at this point. Um, another thing that I want to talk about, Scott Bayo keeps saying that, oh, well, if this happened, they waited so long. Why did they wait so long? Again, there are numerous reasons. Medical experts will explain why victims of assault do wait so long. It doesn't necessarily necessarily negate the fact that they're telling the truth in this case. Statute of limitations you're talking about, right? Yes. Okay, so Scott Bayo is even, and through, I guess through the attorney, there's rumors that he may sue, right? And if he <laughs> sues for what defamation or whatever that would look like, right? Would they, that means they're all sworn and put under oath. We gotta find the truth here yeah. somehow, right? It's he said, she said, it's so hard to know what happened, what didn't happen. And that's right? exactly the point. So his attorneys came out and threatened to sue any individuals who are making false allegations. So in order to do that, it's called a malicious prosecution lawsuit. Scott Bayo would have to have been charged or go to court in a civil lawsuit and prevail in that lawsuit in order for him to then go ahead and sue the plaintiffs that sued him. Okay. Unlikely that's gonna happen. So we'll see about that. I think that's possible. And again, I don't blame his attorneys. I don't blame him for coming out in the media because, you know, um, the plaintiff's attorneys are coming out. You know, they're holding press conferences, so they need to combat that. But malicious prosecution, I don't see that happening. He has to get a judgment in his favor, so there has to be a lawsuit initiated for that to even happen. So in your opinion, uh, the LAPD now looking at this, they might refer something to the DA's office or not. Do you see it actually going to court? It possibly could. Now, there's a statute of limitations issue. We know that this happened 30 years ago, so arguably the statute has run. Um, in 2017, California eliminated the statute of limitations for sexual assault of minors. After? After. 
thank you, so it's not retroactive. But we know the LAPD is investigating claims of sexual assault and harassment, even if they went back 20 or 30 years. So there may be a way around it. We have to just wait and see what the authorities do. And we will be watching. Yes, we And will. talking about it. Yes, we thank will. Thank you so much, Thank you attorney. for having me. Yes, that's right. Anahita Seragafar, we Perfect. appreciate it. Thank All you. All right, we'll be right back.